So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to use HTML5 and CSS3 to design a layout for a calculator using the grid, lay grid layout in CSS. So um, in this calculator, we have an H1 element which hold the uh, name this name, and I also have an output screen which have um, two outputs. That is the previous output and the current output. Then I also have the buttons element here so this button element also have an over effect where um, any button you over on will surely clear, uh, show you and um, you will know that you are over on this button and that's the, that's the um, design there and also this um, clear all and delete button this um, CSS grid layout this one span two row uh, two colon whereas this one span three colon whereas this one span to row. So I'll be explaining how you can go about this in um, in our code editor. So to do this, I mi minimize this and I come into my IDE. Here. I create a new file. I call it cal calculator2.html. So in this calculator2.html file, I have my template, which is a uh, doc type, then HTML and the version that I'm using. So to make this clear, I increase my screen. And um, this document here, I just changed it to calculator. Just say um, calculator. So um, uh, I should just show that this one is different from the first one, which is calculator two. So in the, my body elements here, I'll be having several elements, whereas the main elements will be the uh, calculator class, which is a div element. I'll use calculator. Calculator class. So this calculator class is the one that will be holding everything. And I um, in this calculator class, I'll be having the H1 element, which is a um, ABS calculator here. But um, I'll rather personalize this by calling it, um, putting a name there, such as Salami Abdullah. Then after this, what I will likely do here is just to um, have my main calculator. Uh, my main calculator container here that is whatever I'll be having in this this outline this background and everything the main div that that will fall into our name is calc so for this class it will be having two elements such as this screen and these buttons for the screen I'll be naming that an output div so I'll call it output then outside that uh inside that i'll also be having two elements like i said i said i have previous upper and and um, current output here so i'll be also i'll also have a div element i'll call that um previous previous output and um i also have um what an element uh, item inside it one two three then i also have uh, another one which is uh, current output so, like I said earlier, I said this calculator div will be having two elements in it, which is two div. So the second div will be the button div, the one that will hold the this button. So I will name that class buttons. So in this button div, I will be having some elements in it, such as. So I'll be having this element such as this, um, and in this, what I just have here is is um, but several button elements. Then I already have their class, BTN general class. This is the generic class name, and I also have specific uh, class name for these ones here, such as span and the red. This one is also span and red. This one is just trying to let me know that it will span two across two. Uh, colon here and I'm also having the row this row the one that will span um, in this row and span 3 this equals and that span 3 colon so um, these are just the generic class and specific class for each and every of this button and for the C as you can see it here and delete button so this data all clear data data numbers the, those ones will be used in programming the calculator but not in this video it will be in the later video so i have this let's view what this look like in um in the browser by using 
by using a live server so as you can see here i only have salami abdullah one two three one two three and um, i have these buttons here they are all inline elements so how can i make this look like something that we have up here i i do that using css so to open my css file what i will just do is to come up here and then link it into my file yeah using the link then i hit enter then the href will be what styles dot css so this um the link here uh i don't have this file created in my vs code so i can just create that by clicking on this it is a create file then i use create file instead of me typing the code all over again so i expand my screen so that we can see what i'm doing currently i would like to share this into two okay so now we have everything available to us so to proceed what i will likely do first is to to start with the body class which i will be having my background and uh, my box size in this background which is gray and the box size and so i'll start with my body element which will be background the color will be gray the color will be gray then i also have what i also have the box sizing which will be border box so that's for my body element then the h1 element as i save this everything will be changing in my browser the h1 element i also want to make it um, white so i use h1 then i say color to be what white i save it it reflects so the next thing i would like to do here is to call this calculator class calculator class then what do i have to do to that i set the margin just to make sure it is at the center i set the margin to auto then i also have my padding set to 10 pixels then i also have my width set to 350 pesos so as i save my file everything should just be adapting to the changes so um that's for just this i also will be having the background of this calculator to be black so i'll be having black i'll be having black here and um i'll also have outline which will be four pixels solid solid white as i save my file the changes should be made there and i also have border radius border radius should be set to five pixels so that is all for my calculator class i save the file the border has already, the radius has already adjusted to the this edit so the next thing for me to implement here is just to call my calculator this calc class that is holding the output and input excluding the h1 element so i call that using the cal then i say okay what do i have to do i just have to give it the width of um that is 330 pixels so why do i have to give it 330 pixels just to give this some space and just to make my work much um better that was all for the car class so now i have to edit the output class in my output class i will be having output so in this class i'll be having um my width set to 100 percent 100 percent then i save this is still 100% no effect yet so i'll just have to copy and paste the other um attributes properties which will be height then i also have this just to save our time just to save our time i have um the padding set to each pixels text aligned to be on the right side so that um everything will be floated to the right side and i also have my background and fourth weight padding and then uh, word wrap 
there so the next thing for me to implement will be the button so how do i go about the button so i call the button class by using the dot buttons using the dot buttons then i say okay for this button i'll be having a margin top to just give this um output window some space i'll be having margin top margin top set to 20 pixels then after that i'll be having my width then the width will be set to 100 percent also 100 percent then i'll also have my display to be grid so um what template column will i use like we have here i only have four maximum of four buttons on a single roll so i will use my grid template colon here i use grid template colon grid template colon and what will i set out to i will set it to repeat i'll use the repeat function to repeat it how many times four times and how should it share it you should share it into one fractional output that is each of the elements if or each of the button element should take one uh should take equal width then i'll be having my padding my padding early uh, my padding to be 10 pixels and the next thing here will be colon the column gap that is the gap it should give in between the colon which will be five pixels um then i'll be having the rule gap also row gap we should also be what um five pixels then i'll also be having my background set to black background set to black so saving this this is what i have for now this is just my calculator as you can see they all share for for an equal width on each role so to proceed i'll be having uh, my btn class that is for each of these buttons i'll be using this generic class name i'll be using the btn so i have dot btn we should be having we should be having color set to white then i'm also having the margin set to five pieces margin set to five pieces and i'm also having the background bg set to black so i'm also having um outline and border set to none outline none and also border to none so the next thing here will be the um padding and font weight the padding that is the space you should have in between the padding should be set to 15 pixels and um, the font weight should be bold the font weight should be bold okay so that will be all for the btn as you can see they all have black uh black they all have black background and it is looking much nice so to proceed i'll be having the over effect for each of these buttons because it's not looking much better like this i can't know if i'm actually overing over this so for each of these button element i will have an over effect so for each of these um the over effect should just set the background to be what gray background to be gray and that was all about the over effect i save and you can see the effect has taken place here so the next one here will be the equal sign i want this equal sign to be color green i have um the equal class equal then i set it to what green then um that should set that to green that is um color sorry color to green that should set that to green the equal to green then i'm also having oh an error here is that um this equal sign is not supposed to be set to green it's supposed to be the background color so i'll say the background color which is um bg should be green instead of the color so this is the effect that will take place so that's for the equal sign 
Then coming down, I will be having for the class red, this that I have red for the C and Dell, just to look different. I'll be having class red. And um, that will just be setting their color to red. Um, the background color, sorry. Color to red. Then um, for the add class, this addition button, I would like to also change the color. It will also be taking uh, background color. To also be taking um, blue it will be taking blue then after that i have my span class my span class here is um my span class here is for the equal uh, is for the delete and um reset all button which i have here and that will be spanning to colon as we see here to be spanning to colon so um that will be spanning to colon i'll come down here and uh i have my span class my span class which will be spanning to colon what i'll do here is just to set the grid colon the grid colon to what i'll be uh, setting it to span span how many that is span two just to span to i save my file and the effect should take place as you can see this has taken two colon each so i will continue um the next thing here is just to give this equal sign the span theory yes just to give that span theory i have span the equals uh, that is span theory yeah. span theory then i'll be giving it the grid the grid colon also the grid colon to what to span and the span should be what 30 i save this file and it's refresh so the next thing here is just for this plus sign to span these two rows so to do that i'll be saying okay my which class is that the one i call row as you can see here is for the plus i, uh, I have row so the uh, property i'll be given that is what grid which is grid then grid what grid row which will be set to uh, span two span two then i save my file as you can see here uh, we successfully designed this calculator looking exactly like what i have up here like, uh, like i said i personalized this using salami abdullah so um if you know this video solve um, any of your problem and you like it please follow this channel for more of this video. Thank you.